Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about the proper growth rate for different locality boas. And I think people are getting confused because they see pictures of boas online and the boas are represented as being, in some cases, a year or two old and they're way too big for a healthy boa of that age. So in many cases, these boas have been power fed in other cases, the age of the animal might be confused, but it's causing a little bit of worry in people when they have a boa that might be three or four years old and it's still relatively small. So today I want to show you some representative examples of boas of different ages, just so you have a better idea of what to expect in terms of the growth rate for your own boa. So before I get the snakes out, I wanted to remind everybody of what my recommended feeding regimen is for most locality boas. So from birth until age two or three, I feed them an appropriately sized rodent every other week. And an appropriately sized rodent should leave a barely visible bulge in the snake's abdomen. It shouldn't be the largest food item that the snake could hypothetically eat, but one that just leaves a barely visible bulge. When the snakes reach age two or three, I'll space the feedings out to about once every three weeks. And then when they reach sexual maturity at around age five, most boas will be fed about once every four weeks. Basically, I'm going for slow but steady growth. And most boas will put on between six inches and a foot per year. Now, I know that it's possible to get a boa growing much faster than this. If you power feed the boa, it's going to grow a lot faster. However, this is in the long term detrimental to the health of the boa. It can cause many health problems and reduced lifespan for your boa. So please resist the urge to power feed your boa. Boas should look slim and muscular. They should be very uh, square and cross section, especially with the true red tails. They almost look like a loaf of bread. Um, if you see a boa that's very round looking, or worse yet, it looks like a stuffed sausage. That boa has a major obesity problem and it's likely been power fed and it's likely not going to survive for very long as for its lifespan. With this slow but steady feeding and growth regimen, typically it takes a minimum of four years for males and five years for female locality boas to get to breeding size. People that power feed their animals may be able to get them to breeding size a year or two earlier, but they have much less consistent and less healthy litters with lower fertility overall. And it's very common for power fed boas to have a greatly reduced lifespan of 10 years or even less. So again, please resist the urge to power feed your boas. So now I'm gonna show you some boas that are representative of what you can expect for different ages of boas. I'm gonna start off with uh, some animals from 2019 and then move back by year going up to animals that are born in 2015 and are approaching sexual maturity. And with each year, I wanna show you um, both a larger locality boa as well as a dwarf locality boa so you have an idea of what to expect for the size. So starting with 2019 babies, which are not quite a year old now, this is a Pearl Island boa, boa constrictor sabogue. And this is representative of what you can expect for a year old for one of the larger locality boas. And so Pearl Island boas are kind of a mid-sized locality. They're not really dwarf or you know really that large, but they start off as very big babies. And this guy was no exception he was uh, probably close to two feet long as a baby. And now I would say he's not quite three feet long, but he's shown some nice, slow, steady growth. Um, these guys get up to about five feet, five to six feet long as adults. Another locality boa that's approaching a year of age. This is a 2019 born Hog Island boa. And so this one is a little smaller than that Pearl Island boa I just showed you. Um, they're not really a true dwarf, but they're kind of a semi-dwarf locality. But this animal right now is about two and a half feet long. So I'd say she's probably put on about eight to 10 inches or so since she was born. And this particular hog fed right from the get-go. So she didn't have to be a cis fed and she ate really good right away, fed every other week. 
Um, some of my other hogs sometimes take a couple months to get feeding, and so they might be slightly uh, delayed in terms of their growth. But typically, they're able to put back on this lag within the first few years of life, and there's no permanent growth reduction in these animals. Moving on to a couple boas that were born in 2018 and are approaching two years of age. So this is a female Suriname true red tail boa born in 2018. And um, you can see she's not quite three feet long. So although the true red tail boas are among the largest of the locality boas, they also tend to grow quite slowly and it's really important that they not be overfed and grown too fast. Uh, so this animal has had a really regular diet of an appropriately sized rodent every other week. Uh, and she's put on some really regular consistent growth. Um, so this is about the size that you should expect for a two year old of the larger boas and the true red tails. It's kind of shocking some of the photographs I've seen with these huge uh, uh, true red tails that are supposedly a year or two old and they look like stuffed sausages and they look like they're pushing five feet or six feet long just you know way too big for that age and one more 2018 holdback this is a dwarf boa this is a tar humara mountain boa this is a female and so she's uh, a little over two feet maybe pushing two and a half feet but like the Suriname I just showed you, she's been on an every other week feeding regimen and she's shown really regular steady growth, probably putting on about six to eight inches a year, um, but just doing really well. And this is the size you would expect a two-year-old dwarf boa to be. Next, I'm gonna show you a couple boas born in 2017. So first the red tail representative. This is a 2017 year old female Suriname true red tail. So this girl is not quite three years of age and she's about three feet or so long. Uh, again, slow steady growth, maybe six or eight inches longer than the one I just showed you from 2018. And when they reach about three years of age, they start to show this more muscular build. So you'll see that they get more square and more muscular and looking at their lateral surface from the side you can really see the muscles and you'll see this lateral line that's kind of this little indentation um, due to the musculature and if you can't see this in a boa chances are it might be overweight because it's been fed too much but um, it's really important that they maintain this muscle and they have a high, you know, the, the ratio of fat to muscle is low because if a boa has too much fat and it's too round, it's going to have a very difficult time to breed and it's a lot more likely to run into breeding complications such as retained eggs and other things uh, that can be detrimental to the health of the boa. Now a three-year-old dwarf boa. This is a Tarhumara mountain dwarf boa born in 2017. And so this particular animal is maybe six inches or so longer than the 2018 Tarahumara I just showed you. Again, very slow but steady growth. And the body uh, shape of the Tarahumara boas and the other non-red tails, like the other common boas, Boa Imperator, generally they're not as muscular, they're not as uh, square like that with that loaf of bread. Uh, shape, but then again, they're not really round either. They kind of have a shape in between So you can see this animal isn't quite as as laterally compressed as the BCC and You know the, the top the shoulders of the boa so to speak. They're not quite as square, but it's definitely not round either and Like I said before I've seen so many boas lately that literally look like a stuffed sausage like someone just stuffed them full of stuffing and they're ready to burst at the seams. And that's a very unhealthy body state for a boa or for any animal for that matter. You don't wanna be a stuffed sausage. So your three-year-old dwarf boa will be about this big. And you know this animal has maybe about another foot or so to put on before it reaches its full adult size. Next, we're gonna look at a couple animals approaching four years of age. These were born in 2016. And first, a true red tail. This is a Suriname female. 
And this particular animal is now about four feet or so long. And you can see she is noticeably more muscular looking than the three-year-old animal I just showed you. Um, so this animal is progressing nicely. And it, it seems like in general, the true red tails have a growth spurt between like age three and age five or so. I've seen often the babies grow quite slowly, but then when they reach about three and they start to get more muscle, the growth rate takes off a little bit until they reach adulthood. But still, it's a relatively slow growth rate. We're talking about maybe a foot or so per year. Um, and so this particular animal will probably put on about another two feet or so before its breeding size, which probably will take about another two years. Just a nice, slow, steady growth is what you want. Now for a dwarf boa that's approaching four years of age. This is a Cockerkey dwarf boa that was born in 2016. Incidentally, this is the only animal that I didn't breed myself. This uh, female was produced by Chris Wolf, whereas all the other animals in this video are uh, holdbacks from my past litters. But this particular animal is a little over three feet, I'd say maybe not quite three and a half feet long. Um, but you can see she's a little more muscular than the Tarahumara that I showed you that was a year younger. And she's getting pretty close to breeding size. So I would not, I don't think I'm gonna breed her next year. She's not quite ready. Um, but so she'll probably be ready to breed in, um, what's it, 2021, like the fall of 2021 when she's about a full five years old, when she's going into breeding. With the males, they can typically be about a year or so younger. Um, and every animal is different. Some animals are able to breed about a year or so younger than that. Um, but I wouldn't go any younger than, as I mentioned, about four years for males, about five years for female locality boas for their first litter. The last two boas I'm gonna show you are 2015 holdbacks that are approaching five years of age. And the first is a true red tail Peruvian uh, boa constrictor constrictor. And this particular animal is now about a little over five feet long. And you can see she's got this real nice musculature, just a really solid, well-muscled, square-bodied animal. So I've been feeding her uh, a large rat every three weeks for the last year and a half or so and she's still putting on steady growth. Um, this particular animal probably will put on about another six to eight inches uh, until through the, the summer and the fall, and then potentially could be ready to pair up uh, in the, the fall for the 2021 breeding season. Not quite sure about this yet, but uh, this animal is looking like she hopefully will be ready for pairing up next year. And the last snake we'll look at is another 2015 holdback. This is an Argentine boa, boa constrictor occidentalis. This particular female was born in 2015. She's not, you can see she's not quite as muscular as the Peruvian boa I just showed you. So in general, the Argentine boas aren't quite as muscular as the true red tails. Although this particular female isn't quite ready for breeding. And I found with my Argentine boas, that they typically will need about another year or two compared to the average. So, you know, the youngest I would probably pair her up would be six or even seven years of age. Um, so the youngest that I would pair her again would be like maybe 2021. 20, I just, you know, the Argentines I like to give a little bit longer than the average boas. And every boa is different. Every boa grows at a slightly different rate so again, we want slow but steady growth. We don't want them to grow too fast. Um, and we want to see nice, stocky, muscular boas without looking plump or you know overfed. So one last point that I want to make in this video is that the recommendations are that I've given apply to the locality boas. As far as the morph boas, they generally will grow faster and reach breeding age at a younger age than the locality boas. And although my experience with morph boas is somewhat limited compared to the locality boas, the morph boas I've raised 
it's amazing how much faster they grow, even on the same feeding regimen. So for example, I feed morph boas the same every other week from age, you know, from birth until about age two or three. But given an every other week feeding, they grow so much faster. And I should mention that I do increase the size of the rodent. So the snakes are taking in more food because they're getting bigger rodents. But they, with that every other week feeding regimen, they move up to larger rodents much faster um, and they are able to grow quite a bit faster. And so it seems in general that, that morph boas can breed a year or maybe even two years younger than locality boas. So the males typically should be at least three years of age and the females at least four years of age. And we have to remember that a lot of these morph boas are basically domesticated animals at this point. They've been in captivity so long that their biology and their behavior has been completely changed. And they've been selected to grow faster and to produce babies younger. And in some cases to produce babies without even any cycling. So they're getting easier to breed. And I've seen people claim that they even breed females when they're two years of age and males even younger, although I think that's really pushing it. But I would say that it's probably safe to breed a morph boa, a, a male at age three and a female at age four. And you know, as I, my morph boas get bigger and I take them into breeding trials, I'll have more hands-on experience uh, to recommend you with. So that's this video. I hope it was helpful and clarified how fast your boa should be growing. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.